Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up the set of three Paldean Fates tins. So I'm very excited to get these three tins all opened up in this video. Of course, Paldean Fates is the newest set in the Pokemon TCG. Now these tins did just release today with Paldean Fates because it is a special expansion. You cannot buy these packs individually or as a booster box and they had staggered releases for the products with this set. The official release date, January 26th of 2024 for Paldean Fates. The official release dates for these tins would be today, which is February 9th, 2024. And I have pre-ordered all of the premium collection boxes as well as the mini tins that are also released today. And I'll be opening up those in the near future on my channel. So of course the three featured Tins here, Great Tusk EX, Iron Treads EX, and then Charizard EX. I have ordered several of each of these tins. And I actually did pre-order these from Collector's Cash. You can get a set of three for $59.99, which is a great deal considering these tins individually are $29.99. And I actually ordered two of each tin. They sent me a sealed case of the tins. So before I get to opening these products, I will head over to TCG Player, take a look at the price guide, show you some of the products that I am hoping to pull, the cards rather, from these three products. Now I'm a huge fan of Paldean Fates, so many shiny Pokemon that you can collect. Of course the Charizard EX, which I have been lucky enough to pull in the past, is the most valuable card in the set at $184. There is a special illustration rare Mew as well as Gardevoir and Iono that are all the most valuable cards. And then there are over 100 baby shinies in this set, including Pikachu, Charmander, and Ditto that do have some value to it already. Of course, the naming convention similar with this set like Hidden Fates and Shining Fates, I think Hidden Fates still number one, then Paldean Fates, and way down below that would be Shining Fates. It just really depends on the Pokemon within the set and then how much the set has been printed. So I'll open up one tin at a time, and I think I will just go to the Great Tusk EX. I'll save the Charizard EX till the end. In the description of this video, I'll have the chapters on this tin opening, this tin opening, or this one. Or if you want to skip to the end to have a summary of all the polls, you can do that as well. So give me a moment while I get everything in line, my ducks in, the, in a row. I'll open up the Great Tusk EX tin first flip it over with a plastic wrap on it still you might not be able to see it as well but you get one of three foil promo cards five booster packs of Paldean and fates and then a code card for the tcg live have my handy dandy scissors i'll cut into the plastic show the contents on the inside and then get to opening the booster packs i would like to thank all those watching my videos whether you're a, a new viewer to my channel or a long time subscriber so there is the Great Tusk EX. Open up like so. Shiny form of Great Tusk, of course. Code card and promo card. There we go. Just recording this video as soon as I got off from my full-time job and then I'm recording one video, hopefully be able to edit it, and then I just have to head back to work for some overtime. So here is the Great Tusk EX, 72 for the card numbers, Scarlet and Violet promo. Cool looking card, give away the Black Star, or the Black Star promo, the TCG Live code. And then the booster packs, five total. And this is another set that I would recommend buying products and keeping them sealed. To date in the TCG, after about three to five years, there's not been a sealed product. If you've bought it at MSRP or less, that has lost value. First pack here of five, and I've looked at numbers for pull rates for this set. About 43% of the time, you get something good in the booster pack. Three spots to get something good. Woobat starts this one. 
Fanpy, Derene, Noibat, Whimsicott, Scrafty, Electric Generator. There we go. There is the first reverse hollow, which is the spot that you can pull these shiny cards, the baby shinies as they're known, at Balm of Snow. And I have my cheat sheet here when it comes to those baby shinies, about one in four packs, 120 different of these shinies. And the English cards, different than Japanese, the border is hollow on the English cards. Second reverse hollow, which is the spot for the special illustration rares, Nest Ball. And the final card, that guaranteed hollow of an executor. So it is possible to pull three good cards in a pack. Baby Shiny into a special illustration rare. And then into just an EX or full art. Something like that. Alright, Pikachu on this one. That baby Pikachu, the shiny one. Like I showed earlier, very valuable. Not a huge fan of a shiny Pikachu just because it's not a... A lot different in color than its normal form. Pikachu to start the pack. Paldean Student. Fido. Haunter. Clive. Curlia. Technical Machine Crisis Punch. Mankey the first reverse solo. Second would be a Flittle. And the final card would be a Gardevoir EX. I've actually done very well with Gardevoir. The base part of this set, there are 91 cards, 245 total cards in the entire set so that includes what 154 secret rares there are 10 different ex available like this gardevoir so two for two on the first two packs with five packs in a tin more than likely i won't be shut out from any of these tins next pack here dondozo on it I would certainly be interested to know what you guys think of Paldean Fates. Do you like the set? What's your favorite card? Have you had good luck opening any products? Chimico starts this one. Pikachu. Paldean Student. Fido. Swoobat. Gengar. Charmeleon. Lapras, the first reverse holo. Second would be an, a, a, a boss stiff. And the final card would be a Heat Rotom. It is nice, again, being able to go to retail stores, which I still do not recommend buying from retail stores, at least in person, because they're overcharging you for pretty much everything. But it is nice to see product on shelves. You can go online, like to Collector's Cash, which there's a link in the description of this video, and buy all of the Paldean Fates products or less than MSRP. Cottony starts this one. Maractus. Gimagool. Scraggy, Graplocked, Nimona's Backpack, <clears throat> Doxbun, Swoobat, the first reverse hollow, second would be a Tandemoss, and the final card would be a Paldean Student. So when it comes to these full art trainer cards, five total, there are actually two different versions of Paldean Student, but I do like the artwork on this card quite well. But very good pull so far. Three good pulls out of four packs. And on to the last booster pack in tin number one. And like I said, I, I do have those Paldean Fates premium collections. Meow Skelet Skelet, Dirge, and Quaquavel. I will be opening those very soon on my channel. Haunter starts this one. Cottony. Maractus. Gimagool. Oinkalone. Camerupt, Moonlit Hill, Snorlax, there we go, there is one of the shiny Pokemon I was hoping for, Ditto, I'm a big fan of, Snorlax, Pikachu, Charmander, Charmeleon, so there are a lot of first generation Pokemon available as the baby shinies, very happy with this card, although it doesn't look much different in appearance, Snorlax that is, in its shiny form. Second reverse hollow would be an illustration rare, this time a Palafin. Not many illustration rares in this set, only three total, but I'm hoping all of my tins are this good. And then the final card, a Raichu. So again, I'll summarize all of my good pulls at the end of this opening, but very, very good pulls so far. Five cards to summarize out of five packs in that tin. Like I said, I'll save the Charizard tin until the end. I will go to the Iron Treads EX tin now. Have my scissors handy still. Flip it over. 
I certainly would like to know what your favorite of these three tins would be. Now, of course, my favorite Pokemon of all time, Charizard. That's why I have Charizard on my shirt as well, trying to bring me some good luck. But who knows? There might be some out there that like one of these other two Pokemon better. There's Iron Treads EX. Same thing on this tin. Five booster packs, code card, promo card. This is a product like the Reshram and Charizard GX, the gold colored one, where I do like buying a lot of the product just to open the packs, but then collecting the promo cards. Iron Treads EX, card number 73 for the promo. The code card I'll give away. And then the five booster packs. Paldean Fates. A lot of fun opening these packs. I missed out a little bit on Paradox Rift. And the next set, I've not pre-ordered any products yet for it. All right, first pack in Tin 2. Starts with Maractus, Paldean Student, Chinjo, Pineco, Electric Generator, Charmeleon, Crisis Punch, Gimmagool as the first reverse holo, second would be a Fanpy, and the final card in the pack would be a Seraledge. Of course, Seraledge or Seraledge or however you pronounce it is on the cover artwork of these packs. And I did just take in the case that I ordered. There's three tins on one side, three on the other. I believe I took two from one side, one on the other. Lapras starts this one. Toad School, Lechonk, Charcadet, Curlia, Crisis Punch, Graplocked, Doxbun would be the first reverse solo, second would be an Atticus, and the final card would be a Paldean Student. Now, is this the exact one? This is the other one from the set. So, pulled two of the five full art trainer cards available in this set out of what? Seven packs they've opened so far, so not bad at all i do like opening up 151 where you have that chance at a hall foil energy card to end the pack that'd be almost too much for a set like paldean fates the final four cards of the pack could have something good those special illustration rares like the charizard in this set very tough to pull about one in 58 packs three different ex available and then of course they have the gold hyper rares new to this set teal outline and gold just cool looking cards but not real valuable sort of like the black and gold hyper rares from sets past pikachu starts this one fan p lapras toad school grap lock now i see a little bit of a dark edge back there that can mean anything hollow included grap locked nimona's backpack kilo Watrell. there we go there's a veluza so a baby shiny not a pokemon that i'm particularly fond of second reverse hollow would be a varoon and the final card like i thought a hollow in a gold dango all right pikachu on this next pack okay it starts with a clobopus varoon frigabax Mashif, Nimona's Backpack, Doxbun, Nestball, first reverse solo would be a Charcadet, second would be a Wugtrio, so another illustration rare, and the final card would be a Houndstone. On to the final pack, happy with this tin as well, like I mentioned, I didn't think I'd get shut out going 0 for 5 from these packs, when normally you get about 50% of the time, 43% or so, a hit out of one of those final three spots. Final pack, it starts with Lechonk, Charcadet, Clavopus, Varun, Nestball, Lantern, Oinkalone, Haunter, the first reverse solo, second would be an Execute, final card would be a Paldean Clodsire EX. So a good way to end tin two. And now we're going on to my favorite tin of the three, the Charizard EX. 
Lots of cards to summarize. I'll get to those in about, what, seven, eight minutes after I get this Charizard tin opened up. Now, with that being said, my favorite Pokemon being Charizard, and I do like the shiny form of Charizard. I'm not a huge fan of the special illustration rare from this set. I actually like this Charizard card quite well. Just the colors wise, it really stands out. I do like that the featured Pokemon or the featured promo within the tin, also on the cover of the tin. Very cool looking. Give you a good shot at the Charizard. And I would think fairly quickly, these promo cards of Charizard will be worth, I'd say, 10 to $20. Definitely worth hanging on to. So, give you a good look at the Charizard EX. Card number 74. Very, very cool looking. This is, of course, a Terra type Charizard EX. And then I'll give away the code. There you have it. How about a Charizard EX on the inside of one of these five booster packs? So this is it for this video, this group of five booster packs. Started off here. This being Friday that I'm recording this video, I hope tomorrow to record several other videos of Paldean Fates openings. Noibat starts this one. Chimico. Ghastly. Paldean Student. Oinkalone, Camerupt, Moonlit Hill, Fido, Second Reverse Hollow would be a Gengar, and the final card would be a Heat Rotom. Certainly bringing me flashbacks to the Plasma series sets, Plasma Freeze, Plasma Storm, Plasma Blast, having those blue bordered cards in the packs that I always think, oh, that must be an ultra rare, and I get to the towards the end of the pack and it'd just be a Team Plasma card. All right, second pack, it starts with Gimmagool, Lechonk, Execute, Charcadet, Graplocked, Iono, Kilowattrel, Hopip as the baby shiny, first reverse hollow spot. Pretty happy with this pull. I've, I've actually played competitively with a Skip Bloom deck before. Second reverse hollow would be a Chimico, and the final card. The stage two evolution of Primeape in Annihilate. Okay, middle pack of the five now. I have a bit of a mess to clean up down there. I just throw my stuff on the ground. Haven't picked it up yet. Fido starts this one. Haunter. Natu. Paldean Wooper. Donphan. Atticus. Mossold, Moshif, Reverse Hollow of Professor's Research, which is very good competitively. And the final card would be a Rev of Room. Next pack here, we have a Tinkaton on it. All it takes is that one pack to pull something good. I would like to pull, I actually really like, and I'm surprised I haven't mentioned it yet, I really do like the shiny EX Full Art cards. They're not that tough to pull, about 1 in 13 packs, 12 different ones. There you have some very cool Pokemon like an Alakazam or a Mew that I would love to pull. Ralts starts this one. Toad School, Clobopus, Frigabax, Clive, Charmeleon, Crisis Punch, Lechonk, Palafin, so another illustration rare. Done very well with the illustration rares with my openings. And the final card would be an Armor Rouge. So on to the final pack here. Let's see what's on the inside. Then I do have a lot more Paldean Fates openings to come in the very near future. Bought a whole display case of mini tins from Paldean Fates. That video will be upcoming within the next week as well. Okay, final pack. It starts with a Tandemos, Mankey, Flittle, Pikachu, Iono, Kilowattrel, Clive, first reverse solo would be a Whimsicott, second would be a Varun, so I didn't pull anything in that second spot, unfortunately, 
And the final card would be another Paldean Clodsire EX. So a decent way to end it with an ultra rare. It does seem in this set that I seem to pull the same EX over and over. But quantity wise, several cards to summarize. So give me a moment and I'll be right back with the summary of the pulls from all 15 packs. All right, when it comes to summary of the pulls, and you have to remember that I did get those promo shiny EX cards. I wish I would have pulled some from the actual booster packs, but I was able to pull out three Pokemon EX, Gardevoir, and then two Paldean Clod Sire. There's one, and then there is the other. Three of the illustration rares. Like I said, there are only three different illustration rares in this set, so you're bound to get duplicates. Wugshrio, and then two Palafin. Was able to pull out two full art trainers, both the same Paldean student, but different versions of Paldean student. There's one and two. You can see the two on camera at the same time there. And then when it comes to the shiny Pokemon, didn't get any, anything special like a special illustration rare or one of the hyper rares, anything like that. But one of the four I was very happy to pull, but Veluza would be one. Obama Snow. My favorite would be the Snorlax, and then I am fairly happy about the hop it pull. So there is the look at the Paldean Fates tins, what's inside each of them, the three, the complete set of three from Paldean Fates. Again, official release date for these tins would be today, February 9th, 2024. And before I go to, I can show really the three promo cards just like that. There you have it, of course, Charizard, probably the most collectible and the most valuable. So thank you everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to check out all the links in the description of this video. You have a link to Collector's Cash where I purchased these tins from. Highly recommend their website. And then if you would like to support my channel more than just subscribing and leaving a like on the video, which I greatly do appreciate, you can always check out my Patreon linked in the description of this video. So thank you everyone for watching. Happy Pokemon card collecting, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.